helping hands, Jen and Brent. Sometimes it is the smallest things that can make the biggest impact, and this group is making their mark with knitting needles. The bells ring outside. <laughs> Inside, it's goodwill that reverberates. This is the Thursday morning knitting club at the Westchester Congregational Church. And slowly, methodically, their hands-on mission is in motion. It looks like a bowl when it's done. It's done with two strands of yarn on a small needle, so it's thick, compact, and sturdy. Keeps them warm and cozy. Mary Jane Slade is talking about what they call a bird's nest. The group in Colchester is making hundreds of them to help the wildlife victims fleeing the flames of the Australian brush fires. Church member Tana Hanwork's daughter is a veterinarian with a contact in Australia. And she asked me to ask our knitting group if we would make more nests for them, and it just took off from there. There are different sizes. They're looking for pouches for the kangaroos. They have wallabies that are small and need to be snuggled up. So we just happen to have the bird nest pattern. Is it the snowball effect or ball of yarn effect? Either way, it's working because people all morning have been coming in to drop off goods for them to do their jobs. And it just has exploded. It's, I've had calls from North Carolina from Ohio, Illinois, Pennsylvania, and a lot locally. I bet they'll use these for wallabies. Backstitching and bobbling. The common thread in Colchester, caring and compassion. I'm overwhelmed, but it's a good feeling. The best part is just seeing the response. And it's nice to know in this day of age that so many people care about one another and about the animals in the world. And those bird nests will ship out at the end of the month. We saw a lot of yarn donations coming in today. If you want to get involved, you want to make a donation, we have a link to the church at fox61.com or on our news app. That's such Amazing. a remarkable idea. Mm -hmm. I, I would have never have thought of something like this. But let me, let me ask you, so what's happening is they, they make these little what they call bird's nests. They're going out there to Australia. These are for animals that have been rescued from areas that are on fire and they're mm -hmm. brought in being housed somewhere and it's their own little sort of space, their little mini habitat it, while they're being housed. It absolutely is and they only meet once a week, the oh. knitting club, but of course you can do this on your own time. So what's happening is people are now sending bird nets oh, to right? them as wow. well. So we're guessing that hundreds are going to be sent out at the end of the month. It's a great, it's a great thing they're doing. So the bird nests, Australia, they just need them from the birds that they're collecting and they can yeah, all, so, all sorts of animals, because you can make them in any size. Ah, interesting. Yeah. Great story. So glad they're doing that, and well done by uh, really those volunteers yeah, out there. Yeah, all of them. Awesome. Thanks, Jimmy. Well, in Puerto Rico.